Hey, welcome to a dual video between graphic policy and board game today. In my hand is a Magic Number no. 6, the latest release for the comic series based on the popular card game. Uh, it's been an interesting series so far, and it's kind of getting into the habits that I was a little bit worried about. Written by Jed McKay, uh, the coloring is by French Carlo Magno and assistance by Francesco Sagala. Uh, there's also Ig Guara is the... Uh, Artist as well. French is also artist. Ariana Cosini is uh, coloring Iguara's stuff, all lettered by Ed Dukeshire. Um, all right. So up to this point, we've had a bunch of assassination attempts on some planeswalkers. They're trying to figure out what's going on. They found a cult and want to figure out who the cult is worshiping so they can go, you know, fight it. Uh, so they went go and find the one planeswalker that might be able to help them, uh, Jaya Bellard. I, I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm not quite sure. Um, the the issue is all about kind of like that setup is who this big bad is uh, based off of Bellard's history. Um, you know, it's it's not a bad issue. I think it falls into what I've been worrying about about the series is that it dives a little bit too much into the magic. Uh, background and history. Now, up to this point, or really up to the, the previous issue, the first, like, four issues, I think the series did a really good job of being a kind of, like, CSI, who did it, crime-solving story about assassination attempt that just so happened to take place in the world of Magic the Gathering. Uh, for this issue and this previous issue, the series has kind of done the name drop. Like, it, you know, spells are being thrown out, um, characters are being thrown out and, and, you know, and locations and time frames. And if you're a Magic fan, that's, that's awesome. I think you'll, you'll love it. But for the average person, it just kind of feels like, you know, Starfucker in a way. Like, this is just, we're just going to throw a whole bunch of names and locations and, you know, that's going to be the cool stuff. Um, and, you know, there's just not quite that connection to it. And what's thrown out, I don't think goes into a depth that we really care about. It's just kind of background. Um, and gets a little academic, and you sit there and you start snoozing a little bit. Um, and that's kind of what this issue is. It's, it's a lot of background about who the big bad is, what we need to worry about, and um, going from there. And, you know, it sets th things up well in that way, but I think does it in a way that, like, unless you really know who these characters are, really know the locations, all that stuff, it just it doesn't click. Like, okay, it's a big, giant god that they have to go fight that, you know, can reach across the plains. Like, Great, I just summed that up in a page and didn't take an entire issue to get there. Like, it, it, it was a very meandering uh, story, and part of the joke of the comic is that. Uh, but, like, unless you're really into magic and all that, it doesn't it doesn't quite work. Um, the art continues, to, I think, to be really good. Like, the, the series has a great look to it. Um, that's always been something that's been, you know, a, a positive overall. Uh, but I think as I said, like the, the I think the negative is the the comic as a whole feels like it's starting to play a bit more into like the the history of magic as opposed to having some aspects of it that you know fans can appreciate, but the non fan, the non player can also just you know it's just part of the story. So it is what it is. Like I I'm still hoping the series you know rolls and does well, but right now I'm kind of in the like it's 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 hit the bad habits I thought it was. I uh, thought it would eventually do it. Uh, it's out in comic shops now. You can go get this. Uh, we got a link beneath this video. Put in your zip code. It'll tell the shops near you. No shop, no problem. We have some affiliate links. They are affiliate links, so we get a small percentage by doing that. You help support our site, so thank you. Uh, and just watching our video support us, so thank you for that. If you're into comics, if you're into Magic the Gathering, um, if you're into ma if you're into comics, check us out every single day at graphicpolicy.com. We're on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, all at Graphic Policy. If you're into Magic the Gathering, board games, collectible card games, you know, stuff like that, role-playing games, check us out at BoardGameToday.com. We're on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, all at Board Game Today, keeping it nice and consistent. So until next time, keep playing those games, keep reading those comics, and keep it geeky. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.